hey how's it going guys welcome back to another video and today has been possibly one of the best games for the houston rockets this season kevin porter jr going for 50 in this game as the houston rockets beat the milwaukee bucks 143 to 136 just an all-around amazing game of course highlighted by the Rockets' future and the league's future. Kevin Porter Jr. dropping a career-high 50 points along with 11 assists and 5 rebounds, 16 for 26 from the field, 9 for 15 from 3, 9 for 11 from the stripes. Stuffed the stat sheet. This is now the first, or sorry, he is now the youngest player to record a 50-point 11 assist or he is now the young player. He is, oh my God, I'm tripping up. Okay, I'll cut this out. He is now the youngest player to have a 50-point, 10-assist game since LeBron James, who did it at the age of 23. Christian Wood also with an amazing game tonight, 31 points, 9 assists, or sorry, 9 rebounds, 4 assists, 10 for 21 from the field, and 6 for 10 from beyond the arc. Kelly Olenek also with 24 points, 13 rebounds, and 4 assists. DJ Wilson, 15 points, 12 rebounds, and Jay Sean Tate also 12 points, 6 rebounds, and three assists but man kevin porter jr what a game he ha now has the highest career high of any player from the 2019 draft class and i think in my opinion if we weren't aware of it already he's proven why he will be a star in this league I've said it once. I'll say it again. Rockets finessed the Cleveland Cavaliers with this trade for a a top 55 protected second round pick the rockets just we have a thing we just finesse teams we have the best deals whenever it comes to trades we got james harden amazing trade now we got kevin Porter jr who's james harden 2.0 i'm calling it he's gonna be better than lebron james now i'm just kidding because of that fact Anyways, but this was an amazing, amazing game. But, you know, the one thing that has to stand out about this game and this performance, the fact that he did it right after his worst game of the season. You know, usually when you're young, when you're like a young player like Kevin Porter Jr., who specifically has very like, he has like, he doesn't have the best confidence in the world, right? So a lot of times when he sees like his first few shots like not going in, his body language tends to like, you know, like not be that good. He tends to play a little sloppy and he tends to just like not play as confident as he can. You know, that's something that you typically develop as you um, grow in the NBA and like as you become a veteran. But so that's the thing. Like in his last game, he had one of his worst performances at, as a Houston Rocket and just in his career. And to come and drop 50 right after that, it just shows how, like he's got it in him to just, you know, shower off the bad game and get right back into business, get on the thing. He couldn't make a shot. He couldn't hit a three pointer in his last game. And now, or he can only hit like one for, I believe, like eight or nine attempts. And now he's dropping nine for 15 from the three-point line. So this man, he just, he knows what to do. He's an amazing, all-natural scorer. And he did it on Drew Holiday, guarding him for most of this game. You know, all NBA first team, one of the best perimeter defenders in the league, in the NBA right now, Drew Holiday. Yeah. 20 year old Kevin Porter Jr. just showed him, hey, if I can get going, there is no one who can stop me. Yeah, and what a game tonight for Kevin Porter Jr. And it seems like it's just a tradition now. Every every time the Rockets find a way to really finesse a team out of a really, really nice young talent. And Kevin Porter Jr., man, if you haven't realized at this point, this man is the future. There is no uh, getting around it and he is just 20 years old keep that in mind he's just 20 years old and it's only his second season in the league this man just has so much room to improve and he's already dropping 50 on one of the best defenders in the league right now it's crazy and again it's only the beginning this is only the beginning it's not gonna end here Kevin Porter Jr what a game tonight and I think the sky is the limit. The, I mean, not even that. It's higher than the sky. I mean, this man has endless potential. This guy is probably going to be getting multiple All NBA first teams. This guy's gonna be, you know, he's gonna be racking up All Star appearances. He is going to go crazy. And once we can get a proper team around him, once we can get out of this rebuild mode, this is going to be a crazy, crazy team. 
led by Kevin Porter Jr. And it's going to be just super fun to watch. And again, what a game tonight. And just all around an amazing game for the Rockets. Um, shot 50% from the field and 54% from three. So it wasn't just Kevin Porter Jr. The whole team on fire against one of the best defenses in the league right now. Right, right. Now let's let's move on to Christian Wood. This man also had a very, very good game. His, I believe, third or fourth 30-point game as a Houston Rocket, having 31 points, nine rebounds, four assists on fairly decent a fifth field goal percentage and six for 10 from the three-point line. Christian Wood, he, I always knew that he was a good three-point shooter, but this season he's really showing me how much of a better three-point shooter he really is. Like, like I knew he could shoot, but this is just, I didn't know that he would be taking it with this much volume. He's just so versatile as a big man. It just, it really makes me wonder. He's like the perfect center to, you know, um, to be alongside a player like Kevin Porter Jr., like their future together and the future of this Houston Rockets core is so, so, so bright. Also tonight, a nice little front court experiment that Steven Silas ran with DJ Wilson, Kelly Olenek, and Christian Wood. Another wow factor, except this time all front court. And it worked very, very well for the Houston Rockets. And as you can see, I mean, all of them having really, really nice games. And it seems like every single game we can find something new that seems to be working pretty well. And I think this one is something that we can't hit on this triple um, front court sort of monster in a way that between Kelly Olenek, DJ Wilson, and Christian Wood, all floor spacers, all elite on the offensive side of the ball. And it's worked really well this game. Definitely, definitely. And to think the irony, you know, last year in the playoff, the Rockets had to run PJ Tucker at center and had that whole small ball experiment, which did not go well. Speaking of PJ Tucker, he had his first game back ever since being um, ever since being traded from the Houston Rockets, had a solid six points, six rebounds, two steals, was two for three from the field. All both of his shots came from the three point line and did his thing. It was a, it was really good seeing PJ Tucker again. He looked happy on his team, so that's definitely something good. But back to that wow factor. Yes, this is something that I. I saw this was the first time that we ran it tonight where it was three big men, which is really like crazy. You don't really see that happen too much, but you know, this is what the Rockets had to do. The Milwaukee Bucks were, are definitely one of like the most lengthiest teams in the NBA, in the NBA. Of course they didn't, they didn't really have Giannis, but he just adds them to the length. Most of their players are just fairly tall and to match up with them on, especially the rebounding category and like the, the paint presence, we ran that lineup and it worked really well. You know, DJ Wilson had himself, um, how many, he had himself 12 rebounds at the, at, off the bench, which just shows like if we're able to control the offensive glass, we're able to control the boards, control the pace and like have lengthy defenders out there, you know, maybe this might've been a one game, like, kind of experiment but i definitely see this lineup happening more times especially with these teams who are very like predominantly big yeah and again this front court combination has been just absolutely amazing and again it will be really intriguing to see what they can do in the future with this lineup and of course what a game this has been and i'm sure everyone has a ton of thoughts about what's been going on and this just an amazing game kevin porter jr who he has proven that he's the future of this team and maybe the future of this league. Let us know your thoughts on this game as always down in the comment section and we'll talk about it there. And make sure to like, subscribe and turn on post notifications and we will see you in the next one. Peace.